Research is all about curiosity. At Schulich Dentistry, it's that intense curiosity that ultimately leads to discovery. And it's that discovery that becomes innovation. Our biggest strength lies in the fact that we are part of a big enterprise here, which is Schulich School of Medicine, Dentistry, and then Western. We have scientists within dentistry, but they can collaborate and reconfigure themselves within various groups within Schulich Medicine and Dentistry and within Western to have access to the knowledge and expertise within this big family of scientists. In Schulich Dentistry, we have four major areas of strength. Number one is musculoskeletal health, which has been a, an internationally renowned group for the last 20 years. Second area of strength is biomaterials and its uh, interaction with cells and extracellular matrix, and that relates to dental implants. Third area is uh, wound healing and periodontal regeneration, and where our scientists collaborate with Center of uh, Regenerative Medicine within Western. And the fourth area is very new and it is based on proteomics, which is salivary diagnostics where we can take very, very minute samples of saliva and make diagnosis of some medical conditions, not only dental diseases, but also systemic diseases. At Schulich Medicine and Dentistry, the link between curiosity and innovation is abundantly clear. New discoveries are leading to improvement in clinical techniques as well as treatment and are ultimately benefiting overall patient care. If you ask any dentist why they get into the field, it's really to help people. If there's an ability to prevent injury or make a procedure faster and more efficient, that's where the innovations are brought in. The virtual baseball is basically a digital approach. We want to take a piece of equipment that's basically a clamp, an analog that we use with the patient and make it into something digital. The more we do research in dentistry, the more we understand that poor oral hygiene it is going to almost certainly manifest in poor systemic health and overall health. So it's very, very important to maintain good oral health to prevent development of, of poor systemic health. What is now more apparent than ever before is that dental research is about more than just dentistry. It has a profound effect on systemic disease and a person's overall health. We work in an area that we call saliva as a diagnostic fluid. So instead of collecting serum, we are using saliva to identify systemic disease. If we start to train our dental students now to start to understand the correlation between the oral cavity and the rest of the body, this will be amazing the way that we go to change the dentistry in the next 10 to 15 years. As we continue in our research, we'll also continue to discover how closely aligned dentistry and medicine truly are, and the innovations that follow will be groundbreaking. We are all dealing with disease process how any disease occurs, what is the pathogenesis, what is the etiology of disease, and how we can find better remedies, better treatments for the benefit of our populations. It's a very, very exciting time where dental research will become totally integrated into medical research, and, and I think that bodes very well for our, our future. We're all born with curiosity. And when you combine that innate curiosity with a culture of scientific collaboration and a passion for improving quality of life, it leads to positive change. It's this combination that drives researchers at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry to make a difference in the lives of Canadians. Today and for years to come.